Howdy cowboys and cowgirls. We're here at the Houston Children's Museum. We're having a blast. I wanted to spend a little bit of time learning about science and some of the really cool things they have here. You guys like science? Check this out. Like they even have this gear table right as you walk in and you can build something really cool. All these gears start to work together and you build kind of like a machine. Like if you move this one, it moves this one. Whew, let's see what we can come up with. Look at that. Those gears moving around are really fun. This one here, you can even keep the machine growing. That is so much fun. I saw a really cool machine over here. This one's called Smash the Glass. It says, let's see here. What happens if you push the red button? Oh look, that thing is going back. And I bet when we let go, it's gonna fall. Let's find out. All the way at the top now. Whoa! That was really scary. I didn't expect it to do that, but it smashed this glass. Now that must be a special glass because normally we would never hit glass with anything. This is so cool. Oh, check this out. Now, science has all sorts of different aspects to it. I know it's really loud here, but that's because these are blowing air out right here. And I bet you if I take this ball, I let it go at the right spot, check that out. It is literally floating in the air. <laughs> and this one too. Whew. I mean, this is really just a normal little beach ball right there. Whew. Sorry guys. All right, I got the ball. Let's see if we can make it balance. That is so cool, but see what happens if you stop the airflow underneath it that ball will fall down. So the air pressure is keeping it afloat. That is so cool. Oh, wow. Look at this over here. I absolutely love magnets and I know exactly what this is. So these are a couple different magnets and you can come here and play with these washers to maybe build a bridge across and you just keep adding to it. But all these guys, like you can take these like right here and if you drop them on there, they're gonna stick almost every time because of the powerful magnets. Isn't that really cool? Let me mix this up so the next cowboy and cowgirl that come over here and play have a really good time. Oh, wow, look at this. Now you guys might not remember some of these things. They might be a little bit before your time, but this is an entire statue built out of old phones. Like when I was a cat, little cowboy, we used to have a lot of these house phones at home. They'd be connected to the wall. You'd have to go over to the wall and answer them and ask who is it? Cause we didn't even know who it was when they were calling, isn't that crazy? And then we had these guys right here. This was a pay phone. You actually had to bring a quarter and put it in a slot and then you could call whoever you wanted. It was really fun. Different times. I don't want to talk about how, cow how old Cowboy Jack is. I saw this thing right here, guys. Check this out. Now we already learned about how air can move things, right? But right now, this is kind of like, you ever go to the bank with your parents and they have that little tube that sucks up and moves all around? Watch this, you can get these foam balls. Whew. Look at that thing moving all the way through those tubes. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> how cool is that? Let's do that again. Now, I bet if I stand right here, I might be able to catch him. You guys think I can catch him? Oh, there's one. Here come the others. Whoa! <laughs> I got him. How cool is that? Hey, I wonder if I could juggle these. You think I can do it? <laughs> well, I gave it my best shot, but it was really cool to get to see how these balls move all through the air in this whole entire system. You never know where it might come out. It might come out here or up there. It's really fun. All right, guys. Now look, I'm gonna take this ball and put it in this other air handler right here. Look, it's going up there, moving all around. Oh, it went into that whirly gig up there and now it's rolling down these tracks.
Ooh, there it goes on the blue track now. Moving right overhead. Where's it gonna go? Oh, it's coming all the way back. How cool is that? It made an entire track all around the ceiling of this building just by using gravity and at first the pressure of air behind it. That was so cool. I'm gonna leave this here for the next person. All right, now we're learning about science. This is a little bit more to do with physics. This right here is like a representation of a classic pendulum, right? You know, like things that go tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, just like a grandfather clock. And if you swing this thing the right way, you can, it keeps going a long time because of the physics behind it. Just keep it spinning and spinning. It's so cool. And eventually it comes to a stop. Ooh, a double pendulum? Oh, it's got two different axes, see? Now that one only swivels on one basis. This one has another pivot point right there. Let's see if we can really get it crazy looking. Look at that thing, it's bending all over the place. Wow, it kind of looks like it's doing some dance moves in there. That was really cool to experience. And like I said, we're learning physics and science at the same time. Wait a second, wait a second. You mean to tell me they have a three pendulum? All right, let's check it out. It's actually called a triple pendulum. I bet this one's gonna dance all kinds of crazy. Whew, it got spinning really fast. Still going, still going. Still going. <laughs> oh, there it goes, wow. Holy smokes, look how fast that thing is turning around. That's making my head spin. Wow, I need to cool down here. That's, that, did you see that? That was great. Hey, wait a second, are you laughing at my hair? All right, fine, let me put my hat back on. Come on guys, let's keep learning about science. There is all kinds of experiments you can do right here to learn about electricity and how that works. Boy, all sorts of different wires and cables to connect and switches to wire up so you can make a complete circuit. But I bet they have a couple of other ways for us to learn about electricity too. You guys wanna check it out with me? Come on. Wow, here's the assembly line at the plant. You come in here and See how everything is rolling off of production. It's really starting to stack up over here. And these are all elements coming off. I see HG, helium, magnesium, lithium. Ooh, all sorts of different elements on the periodic table coming all around. Fluoride, I believe. I'm not sure. All kinds of stuff. Let's get in here. Ooh, we. at this this is where you can experience how dense certain things are you see how heavy they are when you move them so aluminum is a lot lighter yeah plastics are super lightweight pine wood wow that's relevant because we're right here in the piney woods of texas today and then foam foam is not very dense at all that is really cool i love getting to know because you go from heaviest to lightest basically because there's nothing heavier than steel in this display case Wow, now this talks about magnetics. So all this black stuff down in the bottom is actually magnetic dust, particulates that are magnetic. So whenever you move a magnet close to them, you can just pick them right up. You guys see that? Whoa, whoa, how cool is that? Let me see if I can get some over here. Oh, look, they'll move all around. It's almost like it's swimming, but it's not. These are non-living elements literally just a magnetic media in there that was so much fun here you can learn about everything from acidic to to basic all sorts of things you have acidic neutral alkaline all sorts of different chemicals have in compounds have different characteristics and you can learn all about that right here i guess you would come in and use the ph probe to find out right there oh drain cleaner that is extremely alkaline but i wonder what soapy water is what is soapy water soapy water is still very alkaline but let's find out about coffee everybody loves coffee i love coffee ah a little bit on the acidic side almost neutral sounds like it must be good for you so i'm gonna keep drinking it right <laughs> you guys shouldn't drink it yet you have to wait until you're a little bit older 
Oh, a viscosity tester. I absolutely love this. So this is cool. This tells you how thick fluids are, how vis viscous they are. So this, dude, that looks like motor oil in there, right? It's pretty thick. It's coating all of the metal. It sticks on there pretty good, but it's not the thickest stuff you've ever seen. This here, oh wow, it is a lot thicker. You see when I pull the blades up, it runs down like syrup. It's really thick stuff, almost like a wax, but not quite. This would be like your 50 weight motor oil, but you guys will get to learn about that when you're a little bit older. And then this one, I bet, oh wow, look at that. That is just like thick, thick mud down in the swamp. It's like peanut butter, yeah. I know, that's really cool. It's really thick. It's even harder to turn on here. But wow, that is so unique to see how thick that stuff is. That was fun, I love seeing that. Look at these. Oh, you can turn them upside down and see how the bubbles float. Wow. Look at that, this really thick stuff. It barely lets that ball go, that weight go through there because this stuff is so thick. It's just like that peanut butter stuff we just looked at. This one's still really thick too. I'm gonna watch that one more time. Ooh, look at it go. It's going. It is really tired, it's super slow. But that's important because it might work really good to lubricate a certain machine or something. Wow, guys, check out these plasma tubes. These demonstrate electricity in a controlled environment. Those are actually electrical arcs going up there. How cool is that? Sometimes electricity can make different colors as it goes through different gases. All sorts of different things, kind of like a neon light almost. Not quite exactly. There's so much to see and learn about. This is so cool. Hey, you know, electricity has a positive and a negative. Just like the batteries we use in different toys, there's a plus side and a negative side. Well, right here, you can pretend like you're your own battery. This is my positive hand, this is my negative hand. I'm gonna put them together. Look at that, we made light come on just by completing the circuit with my hands. See that electricity? A very low current is flowing from my right hand up through my body into this hand and we've completed the circuit. How cool is that? Guys, all this running around and learning has my batteries running a little bit low. You know, I'm feeling a little bit sleepy. I hope you guys aren't sleepy yet. They have a battery charging station. I'm gonna go ahead and power myself back up. Be careful, let's see what happens. I'm gonna grab these two poles and watch it get. I don't feel it. Wait a Oh wow, I feel so much better. I'm so glad I charged back up. All right, now we have a lot more energy to see all these really cool things. You guys wanna try the ring launcher? I've got this metal ring right here and it uses magnetics to kind of launch it into the air. So I'm gonna drop it right there and then come in, you ready? When I push this button, it's gonna fly up. I wonder how high it's gonna fly. Whoa, that was really cool. Let's try this other ring. This one's a little bit larger. I wonder if it'll fly as far or not as far. Only one way to find out. Wow, that was super cool. All these different things. Press and hold this button. Oh, look, it turns the fan. But let's spin this too. Now I bet if you spin this enough, this little generation device would bring enough to run that fan. Check that out. That is super cool. A crank generator. Look at my own body powers making this beep at me. What does this one do? Oh wow, by spinning this, it turns that fan right in there. Woo wee And then this one, let's see what it does. It's moving that hammer up and down, banging on stuff. How cool is that? Guys, this is a really fun way of learning about electricity. Look at this thing right here. This is a Jacob's Ladder. So you push this button and these opposing electrodes create an arc between the two. That's actual electrical current going all the way up there. I'm gonna push this button again so it keeps going. Look at that. So electricity is something that you would never, ever, ever want to play with. But it is important to learn about it because the more we know, the safer we can be. And we want to keep ourselves safe. 
And it's also really fun to watch this Jacob's Ladder in a controlled environment, like right here at the Houston Children's Museum. So that is so fun getting to see it. And you can even hear it when that art falls off right up here. That is so much fun. That power is coming right out of the transformer, going up these nodes. And when it gets too far apart, the electrical current eventually breaks. And that's that snap sound you hear. It's actually breaking the speed of sound right there. Can you believe that? That is so cool. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, what a science and STEM fun learning adventure we've had today here at the Houston Children's Museum, learning all about all these different things like physics, science, uh, all, all sorts of devices and so much fun. You can come here and do all that yourself too. I'm glad you came with me though. Thanks for coming on our adventure. And I hope you'll stick around and come with us on all of our adventures because we go on a lot of them. But until the next time I see you, yeah!